crushed again. And we're live. Sweet. All right, so who's here? I got Giz. I got Krilikov. I got Tantalus. Hello. What up, guys? So while Roll squirrel... call. I just did. Well, attendance, say, say present. Commander Giz. He's not present. Krilikov. Hello. Yo, and Tantalus. Present. What up? So we're gonna be playing some Star Citizen, and Scorb's in another chat room. He's planning to do some mining, but I say we <laughs> go mining and on his ship. <laughs> if this game will load, so I guess recently the the two point three patch. Did, did any of you, or what is this? Three point five or two point three? Uh, three point five. Three point five. Yeah, sorry, I'm thinking like elite a year ago. What what is actually in this patch? crashed uh we have arc corp and surrounding planets a few extra character creation things which are pretty cool you can almost create yourself now yeah i i, I played around with the character creator when i was able to load up the menu earlier um it was okay like it, it wasn't as as uh i think um customizable as hollow me yes yeah. Still early, early days. It's, it's, it's kind better, of my but it's, mm. first iteration of it, so it's certainly better than it was before. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, so I'm still trying to load up the main menu screen. Oh, well, you're loading that up. I'm busy trying to find the train station again. Oh wait! Oh oh oh! I'm in! I'm in! Hey! Sweet. All right, and I see Commander Plater's online and Krilikov is online. Why do I see how Scorbius is offline? I think he's still at the main menu doing the create, uh, character creation. He won't actually yes. show up until he, yeah. he logs right. in. Yeah, I, I don't... found that. No, oh, sorry, carry on. Yeah. Krilikov, I can't even like join your server. You're not. You're not. Are you online? I'm in a loading screen. Ah, okay. Maybe I'll wait that for you. Why. Wait for you to get in there. And then Krilikov's got me, and then I'm gonna see if I can get on the website and add you. So, have any of you guys tried like Star Marine or Arena Commander? Ah, uh, I'm not. I did the Arena. Is it Arena Commander? Arena Commander looks like the racing. Yeah. See, I did one where we were. I was in the in an Avenger, and we were fighting against. Had kind of a CQC feel to it, and not against players. Ooh. So it was kind of cool, but the the matches do last quite a while, so you've got to have a patience. Right. I can join Plater's server. All right, I'm going to join with Plater. Yeah, I'll 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 do the same if we can get back to the menu. Yeah, let's just lump onto that server. It's 13 out of 50 I'm assuming people. It's got 50 people, has it? 13 out of 50. 30, it, oh, right. It's kind of amazing. Like, like, the servers can only hold 50 people. But I guess there's only a few locations. But I, I wonder if they're, are they going to be scaling that up as they scale up the uh, you know, places that you can visit? Not so yeah, sure they're about that. They're going to be doing some server meshing, so you, they want to get 100 um, people in an instance. So that would be pretty cool. Oh, my God. That would be insane. Imagine the battles when they get that bit all fully optimized as well. Sweet. I'm alive. Come on, kid up. Get out of your bed. Where the hell am I? What station am I on? Do you ever just, like, not play this game for a while and have no idea where you are? Yeah, it does happen. Ah, uh, yeah. Sometimes you can tell by the... Yep. Uh, okay. I don't think I've been here before. I think the last time I got in my ship, went out in a deep space, and then just crashed or something. Uh... Yeah. How about it, do you He's know? Played EDF. Is that Earth Defense Force, the one where you fight giant ants? <laughs> Laptop laggers like, watch the stream, but too busy playing EDF. 
I loved EDF. The original. EDF. Oh, what's EDF again? It's like a little co-op multiplayer game, and you fight giant ants. Oh, oh, the EDF I'm thinking of is a completely different game. It's a Red Faction. Red Faction. Yeah. Earth Defense Force. All right, so I'm gonna claim my ship here. How, how long does that take? Five minutes. I Around pay. that, yeah. That'll speed it up to a minute. But no, I'm not gonna pay. I'm a cheap bastard. <laughs> I'll just go exploring the station to see if uh, anyone else is around here. I think I'm on Alizar. Did I guess with this patch, did they reset your starting location? They did. Yeah, everybody saw it at the and we had the same amount of credits. Uh, everybody apart from Nuke, who seemed to have been missing 5k. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh oh. Hi. Oh. Thanks for coming in. Oh, okay. Getting used to third person camera here. Okay, that's not gonna work. I need to I need to buy new shoes. That's the first thing I need to do. Let's oh yeah, see. I did that. I got mm. some paper ones. These ones look nice. A little blue suede. Let's try them on. Oh, that's ballin'. Alright, I'll take them. How much are the shoes? Three hundred and forty-five dollars. Oh my god. That's Gucci for you. Space Gucci. All right, what else can I buy? Ooh, jackets. Yeah, hell, I could just spend my whole time just shopping in this game. <laughs> That's what they did the first time around. <laughs> I picked one armor and I went off into the void, and that was it. Uh, Everybody else was in the shops going, "Oh, I like that." No, oh, I'll have that. Oh, Oh, that's pretty. What are these pants? Apparently, there's Ooh. eyewear somewhere as well. Let's try on brown pants. Useful that's for case cases you get, when you get into danger. <laughs> when you get a freight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these brown pants are not brown; they are blue. Got a pretty good selection. I've discovered that as well. If you look at a certain one first, everything else is the same color. Be there we it. go. There's a nice set of brown pants with cool, you know, speed lines to make it go faster and a weirdly placed pocket near the crotch. Huh. I'll take them. That's for the grenade. That's a that's a very, like, risky place to hold the grenade. Yeah. Good deterrent, though. Alright, uh, and then I shall buy a jacket. This one looks nice. Oh, nice little raincoat. That's a nice oh, look at my hat. I like that. I'm <laughs> just twitching out. Feel free to take a look around. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, now I need to do something about this ridiculous. Oh, no, I don't want to try it on. I want to buy it. Give me that jacket. Better not be expensive. Ooh, it's like all my money. Wipe, Whatever. Wiped out your bank balance. Yep. All right, and lastly, I think I need a hat to replace this stupid. Uh, oh, it looks like I keep like the helmet. Wrap my head with a <laughs> tissue paper. Oh, that thing. Yeah. yeah. It's like the thing that the astronauts wear inside their suit. Oh, I can't even afford a hat now. Oh God. Okay. All right. Well, I guess it's time to do a mission. Oh, you got to carry some boxes. Yep. Don't look at my butt. Oh my god, that was a great video. If you have not seen this video, go to Churchin's channel. Churchin Starstone. So, how do you get missions in this game? I guess just from that, like, little uh, interface? Yeah, we pull up your Moby Glass. Wow. Alright, Moby Glass. And then at the bottom, we've got all your options. The, uh, Contracts. Ooh, look at all this. So there is a delivery mission here that would pay a thousand bucks. Ooh, this one would pay uh, four thousand bucks. Right, I'm in the game. We just started a party, chap. So um, Ascovius has joined the party. So excellent. Um, we've got a player and a scorb in my group. I'll just send you uh, another invite. Uh, I'm still loading in, so. So why don't I do one of these like little? What's this Red Wind delivery pilot? They're generally the reasonable one. 
about okay. three to four thousand. This route might get hairy. Well, that's fine. What I would say is try to avoid the planetary one. Stick to the stations. If you can get one going between one station to another, like L1 to L2. Right, what's HMS Anderson? HDMS Anderson? On Aberdeen, is that uh, a planet? That's a planet, yep. Right. Give it a go. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's a hit and miss. But, yeah. I do want to test the, the atmospheric stuff, so that would be... Fine, I'll oh, do yeah. it. Aberdeen or Mag Magda? Which one's closer to uh, uh, Olisar? Uh, I don't think either. I think they're both about the same. About right, 22 well. million kilometers, so you get a test out there. Alright, I'll go for yeah. Aberdeen. Why not? Test out the quantum yeah. drive as well. Pick up the shipment from uh, R&R, Hurston L3. I, oh, wait, actually, Mag Hurston. Magda's closer. A little bit closer. I've made a terrible oh, mistake. Magda, yeah. You know what? Abandon. I don't care. There's no reputation in this game, right? Not yet, no. I'm going to be very hated by some companies, though. What's Grim Hex? Oh, that's where all the players come to fight each other. Oh. It's kind of a pirate yeah, area as well. It's kind of a seedy awesome. drug sort of drug place. It's um, full of crims and stuff. It's like the Moss Eisley of, uh, of Star Citizen, except it's based in an asteroid field. All right, fuck it, let's go there. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Everything is blurry. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> All right, so I uh, probably need to call my ship here. And yeah, can you guys, how do you send a party invite? I think that's like F11, let me see here. Can I see you uh, people? If you go into your contacts list. Yeah, I can see you, Nyx, in the uh, in the server, and Tantalus, and Krillikov, and Ascorbius. You just, uh, I've just started a party, so I'm gonna send you an invite. It'll pop on your screen, you just have to press left bracket to accept it, I'm gonna send it now. So wait for, it to, right, wait for it to appear, and then just hit left bracket. Left bracket. Left is on the left. Okay. Has it appeared? No. Negative. Trying to figure out why everything is blurry. Also, let me see here. Oh, you're in. Spatio, you're in. Oh, I am? I was just sitting there you're pressing in. left bracket. Oops. Yeah, we've got, we've got Tan, Spatula, Scorbius, and Platon out in the group. Uh... We just need to get Nick. Nixon. The game's actually frozen. What's going on? I don't know. Oh, I'm literally... Go. See, I can't see you my know... HUD. That's why. Oh, yeah, I can see you guys. Oh. There you are. Do you know that thing you get where you're just waking up literally just as it... the eyesight is slightly blurred? The eyes... Yeah, I, I know what you mean. I've got Nixon's that in. completely. I'm out of bed running around and I've got that kind of view. Yeah. <laughs> like, maybe maybe your character needs glasses. It's part of the random generation, right? Oh, man, I don't want to wear glasses for my character. I wear the glasses for myself. <laughs> Shit, where do I have to go again? Guys with glasses generally don't get the chicks. B07. Wait, there's Scrub over here. It's the strangest thing. I'm going to uh, die. Oh, now it's gone normal. What's out here? Airlock. All right, let's get out there in space. Oh, hello, person. Man, this is the strangest thing. I think I can see Scorb. Okay, you must be on the other side of that building. Maybe uh, I can still wait in the oh, ship. Wow. It's still happening. Ooh, I like the oxygen sounds. Jetpack away! Alright. So it looks like Scorb is on a landing pad. Oh god, he's got a ship too! Let's see if I can sneak aboard. Oh god, it looks like he's in the cockpit. I better hurry. <laughs> see if you can get in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can't see I'm gonna have to go catch up, Yeah. All right, where are the damn just doors on this check the graphics. <laughs> he just said, who's that on his stream? <laughs> oh, no! Oh! I've fallen and I can't get up. Okay, um, go. How do you get graphics. on this ship? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he sees me! <laughs> He'll never find me. 
Oh, wait, that's oh, not Scorb. Who is that? That's yeah, probably Nuke. Ah! <laughs> Might be Nyx. That's Nuke's in here. I'm going to try and get uh, Hunter in. Because Hunter's in the chat. I'm under Scorb ship. Oh, this is just weird. Right, we've got Hunter in. We've got Hunter, Nyx, Tant, Spatula, Scorbius, and Plater. Oh. Are you in? Are you in? <laughs> I can't even get out of my friggin' front door now. I'm going to have to reload. <laughs> I'm really walking around like I've lost my eye. Partially. But... Oh. This is the bridge, eh? What kind of ship is this? Let's explore. It's uh, the Prospector. It's a mining ship. It's a yes. mining ship? Ooh. Kind of cramped quarters in here. It's probably one of the smaller. I mean, it, that ship is only designed for one person. I'll hide in the bed. Yeah. I think he thinks that I'm Nuke and got on his ship. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait a minute. I don't want to go mining. I want to get. Oh, who's that? Hunter. Yeah, screw it's this. Not I'm, I'm getting out of this ship. Really... I'm going after my own yeah. ship. He's going to kick you out. Who's going to kick me out? Can't kick a man out when I've kicked myself out. That's Hunter and one of the fighters. Yeah, I want to check out that ship. What? I can't use my jetpack. Oh, I just fell off a cliff. I see. Back away! I can see you from the cross rigging. <laughs> I'm watching the. I'm watching their scream at the same time. And I... Platform. Oops. <laughs> oh, is it Kuro? Yeah. Where'd he go? Oh, did you? Oh, did he take off? He's away. Yeah, he's took. He's gone. Yeah. We've okay. pretty much got the server to ourselves by the looks of it. There's, there's about twelve of us on this server. Yeah, I see. Plater is off that way, and that's my mission. What to go like, after Plater? Don't go after Plater. <laughs> Plater was. I know he'll steal my ship and ram it into the station. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a big ship. All will fly that. <laughs> <coughs> I would love to do a, a, a little bit of that activity myself. Of course, that you just requires... have to hang around all those Somebody pops up eventually. Right. They don't all remember to lock their ships either. I don't even know how to do that. Ah, uh, you should just kind of hold F and ship. Oh, there's and like it's a lock generally option? around. Um, there's a couple of sets of buttons. One will turn the power on and give you a flight ready. Another one will give you engines on and off. And there's a third set that will open the doors, shut the doors, lock and unlock your ship. All right. So this is my little ship, two doors, a cockpit, and a little bed. Yeah. <laughs> it's not much, but... Is that the Aurora? Yeah... She's a nice little ship. I like the cockpit. It is definitely like you know, like not a you know, it's a it's a starter <sighs> ship. Yeah. Enjoy the ride. It's happened again, you know. What's happened again? The blurry thing. Take you gotta off. be uh. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, I guess they did change the flight model. All right. So let's see what we gotta do. We gotta go do a pickup. We're gonna do this mission, and then we're gonna go track down Scorb. Hopefully, that he'll have enough time to mine materials that we can then plunder off of his dead corpse. Wah! <laughs> <laughs> Showing you about that, you can't sell them all after you're sold. Landing gear raised. All right, it says put up my landing gear. Yeah, I'm, I'm restarting the game now. 
just come across a guy here in Art Corp in the plaza. He's not got any socks or shoes on. Strange. He's fit like, me one. He's like a beggar. Uh, please, so sir. I, uh, I want some more. <laughs> why am I not going faster than 140? Um, oh, roll your uh, mouse wheel up or down to change the the speed. The limit. It's got a limit on it wheel. now. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's got a speed limit on it. So if you so, roll your mouse wheel forward, it will raise the speed limit. If you lower it, it will cap your speed. Interesting. It's it's like having one of them retarders on. Uh, cruise control. You yes. hold once you get to the desired speed. If you hold C, it'll lock you at that speed as cruise control. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. I used to Whatever think which do, space don't was go too fast. <laughs> of course. Why, why, wait, wait, wait. Why not? You might blow up. What? Yeah. Sometimes it overheats the ship and it goes boom. I see. Yeah. Um. The other thing is, I got into orbit once and I'm down. Blacked out. You can black out in this game. Yeah. You can red out, black out. Red out. Yeah. Once I came to again, I was halfway towards the planet. I said, go hurry, pull up. So, yeah. Alright, so I gotta Good go thing. pick this thing up. Can I do quantum spooling again? Yeah, I can. Wonderful. I, I, I think, like, like I used to think Witch Space was the, the best version of, you know, jump physics or whatever. But, oh my god, the Star Citizen thing is so pretty. Yeah. You can also set um, people in your party now as a quantum... A quantum jump point, so if you can see Scorb, you can jump directly to his point in space. Oh, that's cool. Ah. Okay, spooling, 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 spooling. Give me the spool, give me the spool. And go. Uh, okay. It's not doing anything. I think Scorb's heading to Daymar. <laughs> He's just mentioned Blader. <laughs> Can't he said he's not being a pirate, but yeah, right. <laughs> if something is a thousand kilometers away, should I be using my spoolie drive? Well, you can uh, do. Yes, you can, yeah. So it should put you within 50 to, kilometers. Maybe I have to set my route. Er... What's going on here? I'm also bothered watching the stream while I'm loading this game up. Oh, that's why. CPU. Okay. Actually, I'll be honest, I don't know which server they went on the. Yeah, the spooling doesn't seem to be working. Well, I guess we get there the old-fashioned way. That's weird. I guess you can't use it for pickup locations, only for, like, cities or something? Um, no, it, sh it should work. Oh, there you go. Like, it'll so spool it it'll, um, it'll give you another waypoint to go to before directly to the say uh, wherever you're supposed to pick up from I'm supposed to pick up from uh, Grim Hex uh oh but whatever like this is you know this is fine uh oh yeah. Linda Francis is saying the target's on the far side of the planet so you want to spin the planet around and select the little arrow pointing down that is the name of the place you're trying to get to okay let's see here so I'm on the wrong side of the planet is what you're saying Yeah, uh, with, the, with the way they've worked it out now, it used to have it, but it seems to have improved now, so if you just target it, the quantum drive will just take you around the planet now, as opposed to having to go to a satellite yeah, see, area. Yeah, see, I've, I'm thinking, I'm not supposed to land on this planet, I'm supposed to go to this station. So let me try oh, yes. Alright. Uh, okay. It's Oh, right. Flight systems are repeating. Uh, now I see what you're talking about. Yeah, I've just, I've just crashed out. Uh oh.
So now I've lost my quantum drive. Oh no. All right, so this is interesting. <laughs> this is Spagulin not knowing how to fly. Uh, each time you click on a point, the other points will disappear. Click, what, what, what just happened? I disconnected. Damn it. Uh, oh, Scorb. no. Scorbs just said disconnect as well. We've all, we've all crashed out. I think this server's gone down. Oh, no. They're like, hey, what are, what are these str people streaming and hogging this server for? Shut it down. Put them in with the griefers. I'm getting <laughs> sound from it again. As well. I do feel like it, it's smoother. Like, you, you, there was some chatter before uh, we started this that, you know, saying, uh, oh, you know, uh, there's a lot of bugs. That's you know new implementation. Yep. Uh, it, uh, yep. Granted, I've yep. crashed a lot, but like the game itself is running a lot smoother. It feels. Uh. I guarantee you the main menu is going to crash. I bet you that the server is just going up and down today with all the uh, people trying out the new update. It generally, is the case all the time when it. I'm sorry. Happens with any game, it's the same with the updates. A big update and everybody has to try it. Oh, exactly. Remember, what was the yeah, game? It was it... like um, like the SimCity game that they had released, like, I don't know how many years ago, but um, it was uh, multiplayer online only, and the oh, day of, yeah. like, no one could log in because the servers would crash. Yeah. Well, it's like everyone, everybody's out on the distant worlds and they do that big jump. Well, when Beyond went live for Elite, you know, that, that server day was a nightmare. Yeah. I'll wait a little bit two days after before trying anything. That's nice. I'm still in a party, so I assume I'm going to join the same server. Oh, yeah. I mean, when I um, went to join the actual server again, it asked, do you want to join the server or the party? So I clicked the party. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, Linderfarst is saying it's a common sign the server is about to crash when you can't uh, quantum travel. Yeah, if you're not being able to click anything or do it, it's the early warning signs. It's pretty much you're pretty much already disconnected, and it's just waiting for the rest of it to catch up and tell you you've disconnected. Are any of you guys uh, watching Scorps stream? I've got to go in there. <laughs> is he uh, disconnected as well? Because we're all on the same server. Yeah, yeah. So, his is loading back up now as well. Oh no, I'm gonna have to claim my ship and I don't have oh. money for expedited fees now because I bought all those shoes. I think he just <laughs> managed to get back in, so. Yeah, mine's loading. It's, uh, or at least it looks like it's loading. Yeah. I always wonder sometimes, like, if the loading screen is just a placebo. <laughs> Yeah. It's just like put a progress bar there and make it look like it's moving forward, but you know, if they don't have that like zero to a hundred percent and it's just like, oh yeah, like I'm doing something. It's going back and forth. Oh yep, yeah. oh, there I am. I'm in. Uh, if you're in I shouldn't be far behind then. And hey, I can actually see the uh the HUD now, so something's improved. Oh hi. Sideways walking man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch your where are you going? Hello. Oh, wow, there was a. Oh, a okay, this guy's just like really antsy. He's like really nervous. He's got a pee. He's doing the pee pee dance. This is the washroom? Oh, that makes so much sense now. This man has to go to the washroom. Well, you don't have a tube in your suit? Does he need a wash? Just go in your catheter. The door is locked, though. Trouble. There's got to oh. be someone, someone in there, but this guy's really got to go. <laughs> He's doing the dance. Be on me. Be on my head. No, uh. <laughs> 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 Alright, I'm getting out of here. Let's then we're back to the weirdest kind of porn ever. Yeah, yeah. Did you get your stung by a jellyfish? Be on me. Okay, I've just joined a party, and therefore it's loading again. I guess I'm switching from server to server. It's probably so. That's an interesting improvement because I found in the last version, it, it, it was so hard to get in with 
the same party or the server might be full and like you go in the lo- wrong server yeah. and there's no way to invite someone to your server. So there's a lot of clunking around in the menu just, you know, reloading the game. Is it working now? No. Is it working now? No. So if that's something that they've added, that's a hell of an improvement. Good quality yeah, I of think, life. Um, there was something that I don't think we've tried it yet, but if you can party up outside the server and then the person who's the leader of the party joins the server and pulls everybody in with them. That would be fantastic. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a thing or not, because we've been party. But yeah, it seems like you can, you, you can get invited to a party in the game, but you can't outside of the game. But when you're outside of the game and you're already in a party, you remain in that party, yeah. which makes no sense. It's like, no, oh, but you crashed. We like, generally re-invite people when they come back. Like, even CQC has better matchmaking. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> They'll get a big head. I actually do want to play some, some more CQC. The one thing I really wish is that it increased the, the party size to eight. So that you could, you know, have all your friends and then it would just split you into two teams. Yeah. Oh no. Error message. Uh, Scorbus just crashed out as well. And this, ladies oh, and gentlemen, yeah. is the current state of Star Citizen. Hot build, hot build. <laughs> Highly enjoyable gameplay. It's really, really very interesting. I want to this play more of it. This is what happens just after update day. Because what was yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, and of course, like it's still in what alpha pre-alpha. Yeah, I mean, it's right. yeah, it's not even a full alpha. Yeah, like like you know, it's like it's like what, what do they what do they say? What's before like alpha? Uh, broken. <laughs> broken? No. <laughs> it's not Before early alpha, access. I'm on a shot because I'll... the alpha. It's early, early access, I suppose. Yeah. But I don't know. That's basically what I would count it as. Yeah, early access. Because when we're buying ships, we're actually pledging money towards the cause, as right. towards the development. To, yeah. As opposed to buying part of the game. But I mean, like, like. Do you walk into like a sandwich shop and be like, "Here's ten bucks for future development of sandwiches"? <laughs> you know, I'm it's like sure they've got it right before they open the sandwich shop. I feel like at this point now, there's enough of a game that it's it's kind of playable. Um, I, I, oh yeah, know, I mean, it's still in development, yeah. but you know, it's like, yeah, and I guess like Robert they, Space Industries, like this is the only game they're working on, right? As far as I'm aware, yeah. It's just because something's so common now, this whole like crowdfunding thing. You know, Elite did it, Star Citizen did it, every game does it now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're in. Oh, you guys are in? And nothing's blurry. Oh, hey, must have put their glasses on this time. Aw, it's only loading screen. Oh, no! I'll wait for you. Oh, wait, I don't have to wait for you. I've got to come track you down in all of a haven't I? Oh, yeah, that's where I'll probably re So I'll see if I can get... Yeah, I'll see if I can get out of area. Ugh, I might just uh, close the game and restart it, maybe? Or should I wait? I don't mm. know. The loading bar is still flicking back and forth, so it seems like it's doing something. I, I would let it go, yeah. It I'll seems that I've got the same room again because things I've picked up and dropped are yeah. all in the same place. That bit's starting to be persistent. Just the room moves. <laughs> I also re-downloaded uh, Star, uh, Space Engineers, which is a game uh, that, that I played very, very early in its development when it was very glitchy. Um, I've had some fun with that. Yeah, and I've been meaning to try that and get back at, into that um, at some point or another. So I might give it a go this weekend and just see 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 what's changed in that game. Yeah, you should get Nuke to show you around one of his, his mega base that he's been building. Oh, that'd be great. I'd- I don't go into his base anymore because I nearly. I uh, I drove it backwards too fast and crashed it and knocked <laughs> off the back end off. So I felt really bad after that. I've never been back any. <laughs> uh, I feel like I should probably try restarting. I'm getting really impatient. Mm. I'm pretty sure it's that time of night. So, I mean, it's it's Easter weekend. That's true. Yeah, not not that. You, you, you've got the minute as well. You've got all of Europe online. You've got uh, all of the US pretty much online now. And the dregs of Australia who are just about to go to bed. Okay, I'm gonna try to put in the launcher. 
This is true. All the factions are online. Yeah. The griefers from all over the world. Indeed. Am I on hard drive or SSD? I am on... Actually, I think... Yeah, I'm on hard drive. I do have an SSD for my primary drive, but it's kind of full. I regretted when I put together this computer, I got a 500 gigabyte one because the one terabyte one at the time was just like, it's like 300 bucks more. And I was like, oh, oh I, I don't want to pay an extra 300 bucks just for the hard drive, right? Now I regret it. Because it would be wonderful yeah. to uh, at least be able to install like this game. Oh, there we go. Now I'm in. Let's see. Patience. Patience is good. Okay, I'm still in the party. Oh, you got Play Gink as well. <laughs> That's a good game. I got what? Oh, yeah, Play Gink, yeah. I love. Lo yeah. It's just like a fun little game that, like, I used to play yeah. the Flash version back in the day. It's like, how quickly can we kill the planet? I can do it that quickly. It's always fucking Greenland and Madagascar. That's where it always starts, isn't it? Yeah. Well, all that fucking <laughs> matters. Different areas. The only thing that matters in that game is can I get my disease to Greenland before they shut down that shipping yard? After that, it's all full steam ahead. I finished them off because um, it went across, uh, across uh, was a crossbreed, and the birds carried uh, it the rest of the way. Oh, I didn't know the Scorp's birds. Could... Gone, Scorp's gone on his own server, so we're not going to be able to track him down now. Oh. Oh well. Well, he can have fun mining while we can, I don't know, deliver some boxes. Where's Shiv? I get Shiv in here. Where's, where's Boxman when where, you Where is the Boxman? Um, Shiv don't have the game yet. He's been waiting for a more stable version. I think he's or been he's... just been battering things in Conan on Exiles with Plater. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they've got that uh, that clan down. Hmm. So I don't see anyone's like markers. We need to be in the group. I think the group's finished. Tram now approaching. Where's the tram? Oh no! I see Scorbius is in this server, and Plater and Kirkov um, and Nix oh, and Hunter, dear. and that's it. We got another server to ourselves. That's wonderful. Nice. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to claim my damn ship. Yeah, are you on the same server as we are now? Uh, mm. I believe so. Context. Oh, look at this guy's haircut, man. Oh, filled out. I'm following you. Where are you going, buddy? Um, oh, I don't see you on the list. Oh. Contacts. You don't see me on the list? I do not, no. Yeah, Tim, maybe you're in a different server. Cause I see Plater, Hunter, Krilikov, Nix, Scorb. The only way you can find out who's in the same server is if you, on the main menu, once you click Stanton, click Join Friends, it will say, Tant is showing you on a separate server, it's showing Plater, oh. Nix, Spatula, and Studio in another one. And it's showing Scorpius and Hunter and another one. Well, darn it. Okay, exiting out. <laughs> so it's still, we'll still, it's still a little borked. <laughs> That's the funny thing. Oh, I clicked the server that had next and Hunter and everybody in it. It's just decided to kick me off. Or maybe I misclicked when the cat jumped on me. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's like that. <clears throat> Do you think a laptop would be powerful enough to run Star Citizen? In its current state, I would avoid it. <laughs> Hi. Although, I can guns. if you can do that, um, what's that thing where it's, it uses, it's like a virtual... Oh, they were talking about it earlier. A virtual what? It's some kind of virtual way to do it. Oh, virtual. Where that, like you play where like, you, like, like, like that Google Box sort of thing where it's like you... you you know, have it on your PC, but then you just stream it and play it on your laptop. Ooh, look at that. Something like that, yeah. And all the users. Ooh, pretty. The graphics. Yeah. Shadow, shadow play you can use. Um, oh. Basically, you, you, you link to a server that's got a 1080 in it, and it basically streams. As long as you've got a good ping, you can play most games on it. Uh, the, oh, right. I can't get on your server then because that's all. Graffiti. 
VR. Someone wrote VR on the wall. This game does not plan to do VR, right? It's in the roadmap, but not till yeah. the end. Imagine it'd be quick. I would be very tempted to avoid. Yeah, I'm like, it's, it's, I wouldn't want it now. I'd rather they work on the other game stuff, but man, this game in VR would be insane. I would avoid it, even, even when it's running at top speed, I would avoid it in VR. Yeah. I don't computer. know. Could, like the sense of scale in this game is massive. That was one of the first things that like really drew me into Elite. When you go inside a station and just the, the, oh. the scale of things. And this game, I feel like you know it's not as big as Elite in terms of the universe, but yeah. the, the smaller scale is much larger. Like one system is like the size of the bubble. That's about right. Aye. Cool. It'd be quite. It'd be quite interesting to see once you put all. The put all the Once you've got everything in here sorted out, and ironed out, and running smoothly. Oh yeah. It'd be interesting to see how they implement a second system, and what the wormhole kind of thing would look like, or the travel between. How cool would that be? Yeah. But what just happened? So they, you get a factional kind of thing as well after. Did I just reset? I just... What? I just paid, and then it reset the timer. Uh, That's a hundred bucks lost. That's like... That was like 10% of my bank account. Yeah, I've just noticed that on... Oh, someone's made a dirty, dirty mess here. Can you do a Star Citizen trash tag? Is that a needle? No, it's just a... It's like a bottle of ink. That should work now, yeah. Dumpers right. Depot. Really? It's oh, I'm on Plato server now. <laughs> I couldn't get on the same one as you guys. I'm now with Plato and Hunter's server. I see Plato in here, so maybe I'm on my own little server. I don't know. I, I do see Krilikov, but like very far away. Oh. Right, let's have a look at the contacts. So if I if, if it, do, would I have to claim my ship again if I tried to restart servers? Like if I retrieve uh, my ship? If you've if it's at the station already, then okay. Well, let me try. I'm gonna try going back to the main menu and then getting back in again. As yeah. much as I abhor the process of the loading screen, I want to at least try to be in a server where I can muck some stuff up. Well. If you're in this server, it'll be Plato doing the mucking. And you join him and enjoy the fun. Is Plato, um, is he streaming tonight, Plato, or is he just... I think he's just playing. Fine. Yeah. Don't see him on the stream. It's quite fun to watch him, because he'll just turn up and somebody else. Now, where'd you get that from? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, I was just sitting yeah. on the dock. And I, I picked he it really up and doesn't give up. a... <laughs> he's pretty. He's 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 one of the nicest guys you'd ever meet. No, but he's, he's, he's a hardcore game, PvP. He's, he? what? he's gonna become the Rinsler. <laughs> he's gonna become the Rinsler of, of Star Citizen. Yeah. We know Conan. He's awesome. He's the leader of the. Like, let's not forget. Just blow everything up. He's he's also a dick plater. <sighs> well, yeah, I mean, and, and he does have a, a tyranny. He's a dictator of the the ployed. Yeah. 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 On that one, he actually has to play the dick. Yeah, yeah you can't be a, you can't be a dictator without you know being a little bit of a dick. Yeah, I mean it's in the name. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about upgrading my computer. I need to buy a laptop first. I am uh, I'm going to LaveCon and I I want to have a laptop so that I can at least that's capable oh, of playing right. Elite that I can travel with. Um, who was it that had it? They could probably tell you about the... Because, I mean, there's a trial version of the thing that I keep mentioning, but I don't remember that really name. Mm. Yeah, I was I was debating at one point. I'm like, you know, could I... Like, I don't want to spend that much on a laptop. But I'm like, mm. could it be possible to play Star Citizen on a laptop? And I don't think so. Well, I think it would have to be a... 
pretty high end laptop. But yeah, I would it, never it, advise it, it in its current state. It, it, I couldn't. Yeah, I, it, 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 I'd have to spend too much money to be able to do that. Mm. And I do want to upgrade my main computer, my desktop, soon enough. And maybe that's where I will finally go for that one terabyte hard drive SSD. Uh, oh, the SSD. Ah, oh, right. Because I, I, I thought I, about just a standard one. Because I mean, the two terabyte standard drives are cute now. Oh, I know, but the SSDs, like, the thing is, like, the hard drives have that, like, limit on their bus speed or whatever, right? Like, you can only go so yeah. fast. The SSDs can go so much faster. And so it, oh, it, yeah. it, was, it was great, but I still have, like, one 500 gigabyte SSD and then, like, a terabyte um, external hard drive and then an internal second hard drive. And ah, even sick. then, I'm starting to run out of space because of all the damn footage that you uh, tend to get over the years. Yes, I... I may go for an SSD eventually just to see whether it actually runs smoother on them. Oh, I, I got kind of a stutter. I noticed a difference when I first turned on this new computer and installed Windows. Like, it was lightning fast. Unfortunately, you know, it's full now. And, uh, oh. you know, a lot of that is, I don't even know where it comes from. You know, it's like you put Windows on it, that takes up, you know, half of the 500 gigs anyway. The only thing I found the last time was when I done a, a, what I thought was a clean install. Mm-hmm. And it didn't actually do that. It packed, it hid the other installer in so, some folder out of the way. It so took me a long time. I had to. You didn't clean your room. You just put a carpet, a carpet down on top of all the trash that was on the ground. And... Kind of, yeah. That was it, yeah. <laughs> and then we hunted around for all the trash that was in. It took a while, but we had to do a full disc clean up, and the the advanced disc clean up <coughs> to get rid of this other windows. Uh, sorry, excuse me there. I've just watched the tram turn up. That didn't actually turn up. It's been on the loading screen for quite some time now. Yeah, everything's going very slow today. I think it's that time of day when uh, everybody's having a crack. Yeah, yeah. everyone is everyone is on a long weekend. All the gamers are just like kicking back. Well, kind of. Oh, there's a person just appeared. Think. Oh, that's why, because things are not actually appeared yet. And just as the door shut, the train appears and disappears. Yeah. I'm going to give it one more minute, and then I'm going to try re- yeah. reloading the game. Yeah. I've got to wait another 220 seconds before the next tram arrives. But I should be able to step on to the next one. So you must be at that uh, the planet base. What's it called? I think Scob's feet's gone down. Has his, has his feet gone down? It keeps dropping off every so often. He's gone offline. His stream's gone offline. Oh no. Maybe uh, Harry bit through the cord. Oh, he's back. He's back. Temporary glitch. There was a network error. Okay. We shall reset and refresh. It was a network error. I blame you. It was all your fault, Guinness. <laughs> we all know who to blame. We all blame the pets. Scorb. Blame El Scorbius. Yes, hashtag. I think Scorb's going to uh, throw his dollies after this stream with Stasis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's probably not streaming again. Till... Okay, the bar is moving faster now. That's a good sign. Hey. I'd say, like, what? I've been streaming now for, what, for- 49 minutes, and I've probably spent about 50% of it in loading screens. Yeah, it's... It's under heavy load tonight. You can tell by the server numbers. You know, we're forty nine out of fifty in every server, so yeah. It's... Everybody's and their dogs having a go. Servers are melting. Oh, here we go. I'm in. Woo! All right, get up. You know the same one we're on. Lazy citizen. Lazy All right. citizen. Yeah. All right, back in Alasar. Who we got? Contacts. Contacts. All right, now hopefully it doesn't make me claim my ship again. If it does, I'm just stealing whatever I can find. Now, did that come through? Uh, 
claim retrieve yay your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad uh which landing pad a08 that is on the uh, left hand side So I see you, Nix. You're 43 million kilometers away. Uh, wait, where's A08? Ship deck. Is that where I go? Oh, wait, no, I go this way. Okay, through the airlock. Cycle. Seven and eight. All right, here we go. Back into my Aurora. Ooh, what's that over there? Fly over and check it out. Uh, scroll, scroll, scroll through your numbers are dropping rapid. <laughs> <laughs> He's down to like he what it wasn't like thirty. He's gone down to like nineteen. Aww, that was expected. That's the game's fault, though, man. I mean, the game's not helping. No, people are trying to watch this stuff. It just keeps crashing. I think out. he does very compelling loading screens. <laughs> he wow, tries to put the best bit on. He's good at that. Stand clear of the door, please. That sounds like I'm on the metro in the U in Newcastle. Yeah. Can you get out of your seat again? What open? No, like, Finally, back when, in the game. When you're Excellent. in your like pilot seat, like how do you how do you get out of your seat? It used to be if H. you press F and turn to your right, um, an exit. Oh, okay, it used to be um, H, wasn't fashion. it? Yeah, uh, press Y. It's changed. Oh, it's why. Why you change that? I don't know. Because it's why now. <laughs> why? It's not Z and A is an Why? Why? Why you do that? Whoa, why you know. do this? Time for a it space. It just war. happens. Oh, where'd that cool ship go? Right. Uh, He's on the server. Stole it. Here we go. It's right, over there, Spatula, looks... you're on the server. So invite the. That looks like NASA over there. NASA? Looks like a NASA space shuttle. Oh, Shoot, there is, um, if you guys ever do get the oh. Area 18 and it looks alright, it's running, you, you'll see a building when you're on the tram that's got Oxy written on the top of it. Really? Yeah. There's a picture floating about somewhere, so we decided it's Oxy's building. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, this looks cool. This looks like future NASA. That's a gunship right there. So can I steal someone else's ship, like just for the loading pad, or like I have to wait for them to like do something with it? No, no, you're gonna get <laughs> it on the loading pad. If they've left it on, you can. If it's unlocked, you can you can take it. If it's not, you have to sneak on board when they're not looking, and then pop them. How do you tell if it's locked or not? It won't open. Just press press F when you get near it. Not to. If you can't open it, then go to the back door on the Avenger. Okay, You're probably more likely to uh, my, my get into the back door. Who disbanded my body? All right, I'm gonna try to steal it. Come on, come on, come on, come on! What are you trying to steal? Let me get on the ship. I won't let me on the ladder. No. It must be locked. It's locked. Yeah, you can't get on. Can you get in the back or anything like that? No, it's like a little fighter ship. Oh, I don't worry about them. It's the big ships you want to steal. The yeah. Fun. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, do I still have that Thanks. mission, or did, did my crashing kill that mission? Oh, uh, yes, that that still happens. Let me see here. Uh, Ooh, nope, that's I not what I want. I from a Krilikov. But are we in the right server? So yeah, I have no accepted missions. All right, well, where's their... Uh, let's see if we can do a delivery mission. 
R and R crew. So that one would be to wait. Hold on. A constellation was. Just, whoa! 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 What the heck just happened? Something just blew up. Oh. Something's on fire. <laughs> it's always fun when they burn. <laughs> that was sounded really sinister. Yeah. <laughs> it's always fun on the. We found the arsonist. Uh, I, I hold the pinky finger to the lip and go. <laughs> 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 Dr. Evil style. Let's go see if we can investigate the mystery of that wreckage. Yeah, there is a fun thing when I go to... Is that um, sometimes it tells you where your ship is, but it's not actually there. It's on a different pad. Which is... That's odd. Yeah. So that's fairly right. clean. Uh, oh yeah. Turn it on. Thank you. Yeah. You know, the ship boots I, very fast. Yeah. I didn't have to pay any money to expedite the fee. That was strange. Well, that's an interesting ship. It's all turret. Just a turret? Well, that's basically what it is. Oh. It's got a rocket on the back, a cockpit in the front, and the whole ship is just basically a giant turret. Uh. He's got an interesting decal there. My Valentine. Oops. Have you, sorry, have you been sorry. to Art Corp yet, Spacho? Have you been to Art Corp? What's that? Have you been to Art Corp yet? I don't even know what that is. What is it? Well, I'll come and pick you up from all and we'll head there. Oh, sweet. If you're in the same server, I'll meet. Yeah, I can see, I can see Spat is like... What, 43 million kilometers or something away? <laughs> oh, really? But I'm, Are I'm you in Arco up... right now? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pick up I'm gonna pick up the Cutlass. I'm going to head to Olisar, pick up Spatula, and we'll head back here, and then you can check out Arco. Yeah. Although I can't see you guys on, like, my radar or whatever it is. So. Uh, I'll, I'll just send you another invite, see if, see if you get the invite. Oh, I got that. That's fine. Um, yeah, you're showing us in the party. I am, yeah. I am just can't see you uh, any markers. I see you, Hunter. Are you in the same server as Hunter? No, you must be on the one with Scorb and Hunter. Oh. Does that mean I've got to go all the way back on the... <laughs> Exit I oh, 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 just got go on a nice Scorb somewhere. <laughs> no, because I'm going to come with you guys. We're on this stream. He's doing his thing. I think. So, yeah, they did change the physics again. a little bit. It's a little bit more... Oh! Whoa! Uh, I blew up. Oh. What happened? Yeah, if, if, if you, if you um, fly forward at speed, Spatula, and then turn with, your, uh, with the mouse, it's got like inertial movement now, like Elite, you can strafe around. Oh, cool. What uh, actually, what I think might have happened is if you were, if you were in our corp, you might have That's hit it. one of the barriers. Nice. They're literally right outside the uh, the space port. Oh, I think I, ju I was just going through the rings at really fast velocity. Oh, you just blew up! Boom. Yeah. 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 I didn't hit anything though. So you join the party. It's fifty of fifty on that server. Which server? So, your server. Oh really? I oh, if you if you. I still see my ship. Yeah, let's see if you let's see where you spawn. Where have you where have you spawned, Spatula? Back in Olazar. Olazar, yeah. Okay, how do I get out of here? My ship is still on my radar though. Like, can it still be floating out there? Yeah, it could be. Let's go check it out. I'm still see, I'm cool still seeing you on my um, hod marker, so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm away anyway. Yeah, I need yeah. some. I need for somebody to drop off your server <clears> before I can get on. <clears throat> I will say that, that it is running a lot smoother than uh, it has in the past. Hmm. Let's go see if I can see the wreckage of my own dead corpse. So how do they explain uh, respawning in this game? You know, in, in Elite, you're well, all hollow uh, or whatever, right? Eventually, you're going to respawn a, a medical facility. Apparently, that's the plan. Ah. But... Ah, right, that would be nice. it would be a medical... Maybe did someone, possibly, did someone blow me up, maybe? Is that possible? 
did you come out were you literally flying away from the the port flying away from the port he was flying through the rings on the on and yeah. just exploded oh, right. that might be just a dodgy physics see if you were coming out of our area eight, it's gone the the shields are literally all the way up to the hangars so oh. if you hit one of them, I could have explained it. But mm, with it's possible. with Olazar, that's just dumb luck, I reckon. It just kind of happened. So wait, who's coming to pick me up? I'm coming to pick you up. I've I'm just gonna um, summon the ship. I've just got to get out of Art Court. Hey. Cause yeah, it'll take me at least five minutes to claim. Hey machine, what's up? How's it going? Three point five is What's looking buggy. Have you today. installed it yet, machine, or are you on your fire? Oh! Ow! 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 Okay, I just fell flat on my face. But yeah, machine, it's uh, it's definitely running buggy today. But we expect that that's probably because um, well, it's just launched today and it's Easter weekend, so people are out. Is madness. But that said, once you get in, it's it's actually quite smooth. Like I feel like they the, even the graphics, the the speed that the game plays at, the physics, the flight, it's all feeling a little more intuitive. Ooh, missiles. Mm. And I do really love the scale of this game and the scale of the ships. But the small ships are actually really small, and you know the big ships are gigantic. I must be watching your stream a bit. What are you watching? Your stream, because I've just seen you blow up just now. Oh, you might be on a. You might be earlier in the stream. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. So, what else can you do at all? Is our uh, within the station itself? Is there anything in there that's interesting? Uh, you can shop. You can buy guns and buy armor. Is there anything you can do that, that doesn't require any money? Oh. <laughs> because I'm broke. Steal other people's ships. Ah, that's your. I mean, also it's, it is basically just a starting area. It's not really much more than a uh, get a few air, uh, get an SMG, or what's this guy up to? Basic armor. Shining Did flashlight you? in this man's face. <sighs> Hello. How do I turn my flashlight on and off? A T. Uh, T. Uh, the ship one is number five. So there's no like I can't go into like downstairs corridors or access vents or anything like that in the station. There's no like no, not urban yet. exploration. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not like quite that well, in depth yet. You'll find it. Well, I'll come and pick you up. We'll head to Art Corp. There's loads to explore here. Cool. Your ship's. Still so over what, there. what exactly is Art Corp? It's uh, Metropolis Planet. It's sort of like Blade Runner esque. It's all like neon signs, high rise buildings. Oh my god. It's, cor it's, it's Coruscant. Oh my god. Oh yeah. my god. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> it is a phenomenal planet. They've done really well putting the planet together. Yes. Join party 49 of 50. I'm in. Are you going to spawn at Olazar? Uh, character creator, well, take a look at my, uh, character. Let me just, how, how do I take my clothes off? I mean, uh... Excuse me? <laughs> my space suit. <laughs> Don't do it in space, whatever you do. Uh, under suit, um, is that what it is? You can't take them off, uh um, Unequip, there you go. On your inventory, yeah. Save changes and equip. Because Turgeon reminded me about that. Hey, Killer Kev, what's up? So, I don't know. We got it. This is the best I was able to do with this damn character creator. <laughs> Some sort of weird blonde pompadour whose hair is. Oh, there we go. There's another guy. Even though I didn't have any option to customize the hands, the hands look very big. Apparently, I've got a light bulb inside of my do. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, I mean, it's not as it's not uh, you know if you're used to Hollow Me uh, from Elite, Elite uh, has a much more powerful character creator. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, whatever. I mean, again, it's a beta. Like I expect they're going to be adding features to that, and even if they don't, like, who cares? 
I just want them to have like like green hair and stupid tattoos and whatever, so I can make myself look like a complete nincompoop. Eh. But you know, no, they'll probably add like green hair as like a purchasable accessory. I'm gonna do parkour. Look at me parkouring. That was alright. That was alright. A little bit. Alright, let's go this. We're gonna go outside. Oh wait, no, that's the clothing store. Let's go outside and just wait around just in case I do see a, a nice ship to steal. Yes. I want to be perched and ready. I would stay standing if I was you. Stay what? Stay standing. Standing where? <laughs> well, you gotta perch. You gotta run. <laughs> oh yes. Oh. You see that ship? You gotta run for that ship. I'll, I'll get myself into. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I'm dying. Oh shit, my suit! Ah! <laughs> I forgot oh, to yeah, put my, took... my suit back on. I survived for a long time in vacuum there for, you know, what, what's going on? <laughs> Wait, I got back up? Oh, yeah, okay. <sighs> that was bizarre. <laughs> Note to self. Put spacesuit back on. For the last time I had a sub note again. And I forgot to breathe. Fill the O2 tanks. Scorb's pulling his hair out, I think. What's happening with him? He's uh, trying to keybind his Hotas, but he's not having much luck, I don't think. Oh, yeah. See, that adds to I'm, just, stream, I'm just playing with mouse and keyboard, it's just easier. Yeah, that's a whole other level of complication that... I've never had a Hotas. Like, to me, like, it, it, Elite makes sense in a Hotas because you're always in the ship. But exactly. In this, in this, this game, is an like, FPS game. Yeah, when Play you're walking it, around, it's it's, exactly. It's just it yeah. just doesn't make sense. All right, now to go back outside, but properly this time. That's a good idea. I'm on the way <laughs> anyway. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. Watch it be like, I'm, yeah, you I'm... put on your suit. You didn't put on your helmet. God damn it. Uh... Okay, how do I tell if I'm dying or not? Okay, I think my vitals look stable. We're okay, people. So we are going to find a perch high above on that ring. See, you got to be careful, because I I died from falling down a flight of stairs. My legs broke and I bled out. <laughs> yeah, that, well, that was happening when, when we were looking at ships in the dealership, and I went into a large ship and opened the wrong door, <laughs> thinking it was leading to the cockpit. Instead, it led right outside the ship, and I fell down and broke my legs. <laughs> yeah. And then when I went to respawn at one point, uh, it respawned me inside of a, like, um... Uh, it was like in in that what's that place on the planet that you can go to I'm sure that's probably a multiple choice question but there was like a place on a planet that, that place with the stuff that you buy with the thing yeah exactly it's got a bar Lorville yeah. Lorville that's the one yeah it oh, respawned right, me yeah. like in between the two cities and so I was stuck in these weird dark mega sized alleyways with nowhere to go and my legs were broken oh <laughs> right I'm inbound I'm 40 million kilometers and closing I'm loading. Let's see, where, where are you coming from? You're coming from that direction. Alright, so let's see. We do have a couple ships on the pad. They look like small ships, fighters. Nothing juicy. Well, maybe should, I think people are side? starting to learn now. That's unfortunate. Yeah, they learned to lock things up. Okay. It's funny because you, you know, and I don't know if this is a Canadian thing or whatever, but a lot of times I go to get a cup of coffee from the store and I'll leave my apartment unlocked. But then I get home and I open up the door and I check every nook and cranny to make sure that someone didn't come inside and they're hiding in my apartment. <laughs> I'm like, why don't I just lock the door? <laughs> yeah. It's usually a safer idea. I think there was like a, a murder case or something where where the guy was just going around and checking random doors, and if the door was unlocked, that was an invitation to come in. So it's like, yeah, there are those weirdos out there. Well, that's not scary, is it? <laughs> Pretty sure Scope just nearly blew himself up again. Half the turn at least one of What, doing mining? Up. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the safest of things. Oh, really? Lost, I've lost both of them now. Never been. 
See if my character stood up yet. So you're now 32 million away. Okay. Is that me? Yeah. Ah. Or not you. A bit closer than I thought. No, I'm, I'm, clo I'm closing in. We're, we're getting there. He's gonna get you. I'm just like chilling on the, the mining's actually thing. pretty cool, what Scorb's doing. But yeah? he's just spent 150 bucks on that ship. Oof. So, like, so real life cool. money. Wait, what's that? Yeah. That looks like a ship. Right, move, move, move. Jetpack, don't fail me now. Right, that looks like at least a medium sized ship. Still on a small landing pad, I guess those are the small okay. ones, but. Hopefully I can get there in time. No! He's taking off! Hurry, hurry! It's one or two. Studio edit, left of the part. Studio edit. Oh no! I'm so close! So close! You're right, you have, to, you have to be really close. Uh, let me see. F11. Do 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 do. Who do I see in here? Oh my god, there's a lot of people in here. Um. I see. Nix. I'm already in Krilikov's party, so we're already. Krilikov and Tantalus. You don't see anyone else. It says I'm in your party, but I don't see you. Okay, now I'm gonna have to go and have a look. I see. I I see you. Um. Yeah, your your names have merged together. It's like illegible, but you're both. I guess. Are you are you both coming from the same place? Ah, uh, no. I just happen to be in the same direction. I think Scorb's about to blow up Hunter's uh, Ursa Rover with the mining vessel by the looks of it. Uh oh. Do it. Hunter's just jumped out and he's gonna, he's gonna blow it. They actually can't do it. I let one guy blow up my... Let's see, I can't get. I, can I get to this um, uh, Coruscant place in in a in a an Aurora? Oh yeah, you can you can do, but I can. I'm pick, I'm on my way to pick you up, so you may as well uh, hang fire. He's coming to get you, and I'll yeah, just yeah. sit and wait in the uh, I'll wait in the docking area, and then we should all be together. Can then can I order my Aurora once I'm there? Like like set, have it ship transfer? Oh yeah. Ouch. Yeah, you can order it over there once you get there, yeah. Sweet. It's got similar systems, uh, similar. Let me go back inside so I don't run out of O2. How do you refill your O2, by the way? Is that just like whenever you're inside a uh, atmosphere, it'll happen? Basically, yes. Uh, or inside just... Oh, there is med pens you can use. Or oh, gym pens, you can buy them from the gun stores. And you attach them to your inventory utility pack bit. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go see if I can oh, track down the bar again. It's the Boxman machine. Yeah. Can I get a box? Looks like one of them Amazon things. Error. You can get a box when it's part of the mission. What's this? Sell from location. Oh, trading console. Uh, you can use those to buy, well, literally, trade. Yeah. You can fill your ship up and take it somewhere that buys them and then... So I guess that's when you need on. to have a, like an actual cargo ship. Because about the only thing I can hold in my ship is one sleeping person. Ah, it depends what you've got. You're all... Most tank can carry 400. Oh, really? Yeah. So, like, the Aurora the, the, has the a thing cargo hold? Be, yeah, the thing is they've got to be on the pad, which is an issue at the moment because every station seems to want to store them after, like, 20 seconds. Right. That's something that's gone a little bit awry in this uh, update. That requires a fix. So you have to basically, like, claim your shit, put it on the pad, and quickly sell off your shit. Yeah, and then run. That's the thing. I th I'm not sure what happens, but I'm, I'm pretty... I'm not quite 
confident that it does happen, but I'm pretty sure that if the station stores your ship with the cargo in, sometimes you lose it. So I've avoided all kind of trading at the minute. I just do box missions instead. Pick up a box from somewhere and take it to somewhere else. It seems like there's nothing better. Uh, I, I really did love that boxman video. Welcome to Area 80. Is that's yeah. what's, what's Dumper's Depot? Dumper's Depot. Ooh, it's like ships isn't and that some kind of the shop, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like ship components or modules or upgrades. Ah, I do like the way that they look. The way that they've made them look. I wonder if you have to install them on your ship yourself. Uh, there is an option in the menu. If you hit F1, F1, you've got a vehicle loadout manager. When you're sitting in your ship, you can do it. Vehicle loadout. Oh, okay, so that's similar to your your own inventory. Yeah. yeah. Provided you, but you buy the right size thing. To... Right. I bought one that I had one that was too big for the Aurora. Yeah, I think everything on Come the on. Aurora is size one. Yeah. So I could buy Actually, a the guns are, the guns are size two apparently. What? Mm, no, that's what I was told today. Yeah. But there are different. Oh, well, the missile rack could be size two. Oh wait, no. Wait, what? I think it's the ones on the wings. Because you get the two at the front, and but you don't have any on the. Right. Well, there there are different uh, variations of the Aurora as well. Um, are there not? Like at least like a couple different versions. There is a few. Yeah, yeah. There's a few different. I've upgraded to the Avenger now. So uh, we finally got paid off work. So we, we treated ourselves to a, a slightly bigger ship. Dang, I should I should really maybe look at... I don't know. I, I, I kind of I want to just wait till we can buy them in-game and have that as like a goal to work towards. What in the hell was... Sorry. <laughs> There's a naked guy just ran towards... As you do, as you do. Yeah. He's got no head. Is there anything I can help you with? So where... Oh, there you guys are there on the map. But where is... Ah, so you um, can see us, right. Okay. Yeah, I can see, I can see Krilikov. Where is uh, this place actually located, though? Uh, Arkhorp is literally... It's, it's a planet. It's on the opposite side to Alazar. Oh, is it this guy? Whoa. Arkhorp. It is absolutely huge. Okay, I assume that the scanner is not a true representation of the planet's real colors. We got a lot of variety. Ah, uh, no. Cool looking place. Yeah, although, since it's basically a city-wide planet, or a planet-wide city. That's crazy. Yeah. I can't wait to see this. That's where that technology that we're working on really comes into play. Pilot a small ship, collect checkpoints, steal points from the leader, and win big. There's like a race? It's probably bugged. Oh, them races, you gotta have the fast ship. Who is this? You're becoming quite popular among the unsavories. What have I done? My name is Ruto. You've probably heard of me. No. Right, I'm outside Olisar now, Spatulus. If you come outside, you can oh, EVA cool. over. I'll be right out in a moment. Uh, let me see. Let me out. I'm just waiting for the tram to arrive. I want to go to the outside. I'm going to have to wait for the second tram because it might not appear straight away. It's been quite fun tonight. It was lovely this morning. None of my missions bugged. Everything yeah. appeared when it was supposed to. Are you having tram troubles? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Well, you just flew past. Hey, what's It's all gone a there? bit off, off the rails. Whoa, what the hell is this? Wow, that's a big ship. Hagar, what did you go to pick him up in? Oh, it's not mine. I'm in oh, a couple it's of... some random one on the pad I don't know here. what it is. Oh, yeah. steel is. Oh, I wish I could. Nothing yeah, like, can you not get in? Nothing's highlighting now. Darn it. He's locked it. <laughs> As you would with this kind of ship, I guess. Oh, people forget. Yeah. We've uh, played as Nick the Reclaimer. 
pretty sure one was a hammerhead at one point. Various other ships he's had. I don't know what ship that it's is. It looks like a get a lock on. Yeah. Nice one. All right, I'm coming over Krilikov. Don't suddenly move in any direction right. very quickly. I'm, 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 right, I'll just open the exterior. Don't mind. Let me, let me in. The thing is, if he hits the stick now and moves towards you slightly. Wow. So hold on. Wait, 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 wait a second. What, what kind of ship is this? What, what, uh, what's this ship called? This is the Cutlass Black. How cool is this? Best of them. There's a Cutlass Red at some point. It's supposed to be a heavy <laughs> ship. Uh, right. And you're in. in. So you cool. could have like a vehicle in this in this kind of hangar here. I can fit two in here. Ooh. There's a there's a co-pilot co seat if you want to sit in that one. Like this guy back here? Yeah. Oh, that's a turret. Oh, there's a turret. There's a co-pilot seat behind me. The front. Yeah, you'd be safer in the uh, in the co-pilot seat than the turret. What do, you, what do you mean, like the turret's buggy or something? Just when you're trying to get out in the uh, quantum, you fall out of the ship. Right. That did so happen to me before. Yeah, see if it'd be in the co-pilot seat. Why don't we just explore this little ship? I like these, you know, they got these like garbage bag textures. That's nice. Boxes of storage. Probably full of flashlights. Oh, what was that? Uh, somebody pooped the horn. And you got bunk beds. This is a two-man ship, eh? Oh yeah, at least you you oh, can. Oh, what did I do? I just missions with that. I just injected what? myself with something. What did I do? Oh, well, that'll injected be uh, medipen oh, med or, med oh, or oxygen. Yeah. Did you press V? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do the math on I'll your see. ship. I, yeah, I think I pressed C. <laughs> I just suddenly, suddenly became a, a drug addict, an adult drug. Was supposed to, oh, you're supposed to hide the crystal till you got in the back. <laughs> okay, I better get in this chair. Oh yeah, Hello. that's what I'm that's talking right. about. Look at this. Hello. Now that is a cool ship. Oh, the trams arrived on tank today. Nice. Who's all these people? I'm on the tram with at least four other people. Oh. oh. So did, did the different ships also go at different speeds in, in what do you call the super cruise? Quantum In quantum, cruise? yeah. Yeah, they all do, yeah. Interesting. Okay, because I was like, "Wow, it took me like 18 minutes to get from Alasar to Hurston in, in the Aurora." Yeah, the Aurora was the slowest. It's like having a sidewinder. Uh. So uh, this three-five upgrade doesn't include a VR pass, does it? No. No. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's. No Still quite a few bugs to iron out before they get that far. But I must have VR. Well, eventually. Otherwise, how can I live in that universe? Um, via proxy? I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, like <laughs> I, I like VR, but I find it it's more enjoyable in short bursts. Elite is probably the one game where I think I can play more than an hour in VR. And not yeah. want to, like, the problem is with VR you... when you've got like straps on your head for three hours and it's the middle of summer and it gets too much. Exactly, you exactly. You, the take it off buy... oh. you can buy accessories that will make it a little better, but uh, you're still carrying an awful lot of weight on your head. Yeah. No getting around that. I mean, relatively speaking, it's not as it's not as heavy as a bicycle helmet, but the weight isn't distributed as evenly because it has to. Put all the projection equipment in front of your eyes, yeah. and I still have, and I still have a bit of a problem looking at the suns in Elite because some of those stars are so freaking bright. I swear to God, if you look straight at them, they're just they'll yeah. Find you. yeah, yeah, they'll find you. Like a there was one stream that I did. It was while we were doing the Enigma expedition, and I found a hot um, gas giant that was burning hotter than a sun. And it was so bright white that when you went even close to it, the whole canopy would be blasted with white, and you couldn't see anything except white. <laughs> wow. It was actually crazy, and apparently, I don't know, in, in some of the patches, they said that they fixed those. But, uh, yeah, I'd be disappointed if they did, because it was a pretty cool find. All right, fellas, I am now... I'm heading for the VIP lounge.
We Ooh. are 30 million yeah, dollars yeah, from you. Uh, guy, there's something going on with your ship. It's shaking really just... weird. Ooh, do I get buttons? Ooh, there's co-pilot power on screens. Cool. Okay, what can they I do? Must have, can they must have they must have VR in the development areas. Um, or at the place where they develop uh, Star Citizen. I would imagine they will get VR. But as it stands right now, I don't... It's on the roadmap, but you'll be looking at two years, I think. Easily. Yeah, it's so, like, going to be a while. So, Spatula, th those comms in front of you, you can control shield strength, uh, power to weapons, engines, all that stuff. That's kind of neat. That's you, one thing I, I one really miss from multi-crew is the, 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 the idea of like an engineer or someone that... Like, is on the top hard. left there, you've got like a, a triangle at the top. Um, yeah. That thing is, is effectively your pips, similar to Elite, so you right. can drag it around, drag the energy around and uh, assign it to weapons, weapons systems. Engines. Yeah, okay. That's cool. And then there's stealth. Oh, that just does nothing. Okay. Items. What's this menu button do? Oh, look at that. So I can go into comms and I could hail the uh, station, allow you to dock. Yeah. Like, and another stuff, thing. It's hard to get used to, but it's very cool. Um, oh, without a doubt, yeah. Laban, the 21185. Weren't there supposed to be planets Very in that closer. system? Sorry, what? Laban, the 21185. Were, the, were there not supposed to be planets in that system based on what system? came in um, Elite um, I believe it's within six light years of to Frontier? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I have no idea. Sorry, I was just listening to myself talk. I was reviewing some uh, footage of my battles with the Thargoids. Ah, the Thargoids. Those Have cute, sticky things. Cute little flowers. Yes, well, I'm yeah. accumulating quite a, a repository of bounty uh, from blowing up their little marauders and probes and berserkers and whatnot. But the... Um, I have to get a million together to open up an engineer that's in the solar system. Mr. Decker, or Sergeant oh, Decker. Oh, yeah. A million what's? Bounty vouchers. Oh, wow. Well, for, that shouldn't be too, that shouldn't be too hard. Because, like, you could get, like, 500,000 for, like, one anaconda or something like that. Well, I got 300,000 300, last night. That takes me right. to two-thirds. So, I only need another session or two uh, with the Thargoids, and then I'm pretty much there plus i need i need to get uh elite rank in combat in uh combat ah yes apparently nothing, these thargoid nothing. scouts are good for that thargoid scouts are wonderful for that so i've been taking my federal corvette into thargoid space and blasting the hell out of them the only problem is when an interceptor shows up i turn tail because stupid thargoid interceptors i just yeah. i cannot well if it's any by myself Look, look, if it's any consolation, I've been playing Elite since before Horizons, and I still don't have Elite rank in anything. So. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I'm very close for exploration, and thanks to Void Opal's, very close for trade. Yeah, I've got... I Earlier this year, I got trade and... Uh, sorry, Elite last year, I got trade and, uh, and uh, exploration almost simultaneously. And now I'm just combat. I have to get at least dangerous, though, to unlock, uh, what's her name? Jameson's daughter in the engineering core. Oh, right. Going back to VR, actually, I'm looking forward to No Man's Sky in VR. That's going to be pretty cool. Yes. Which one? No Man's Which Sky one? in VR. They're releasing oh, yeah. uh, the VR version in June. I'm very impressed oh, really? with how they turned everything around there, and there's a lot to look forward to in that game. But you've played No Man's Sky, actually. What what yeah. happens when these like crazy, like weird monsters just like jump out the undergrowth in VR? They're gonna scare the f out of people, aren't they? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, like <laughs> even just those damn stupid plants that snap at you as you go along. Yeah, exactly. Those you know, drive in VR, you that stuff's gonna be pretty intense. That when, stuff. It's, when you get it's the giant... mundane now on a screen, but yeah, when you get the friggin' uh, giant robots coming after you too. Oof, yeah. What? Well, that sounds promising. Yeah. Except I would, I might not want to be tethered to my computer for that stuff, but, 
I might want to stand up and actually engage in some calisthenic behavior with my well that, that's my always, VR. that's always the question i have with vr where it's like oh they're doing this in vr and i'm like okay is this gonna be something i can sit down and play and then how, how am i gonna move around because i get really like kind of nauseous with that whole you know like the, y y you're supposed to do the teleport thing right but the teleport thing feels awkward uh -huh. so that, that's always a big debate for me where it's like ah, i don't know i don't like the teleport thing but i don't like the other way of doing it because i get nauseous i don't uh i don't have uh the trouble with the nausea i never have but um i do prefer standing up i do prefer fighting my monsters uh as if they were monsters right the and the new, the new, the next version of Oculus will map out your room for you, so that it will position everything in game. And well, around. the new Oculus Rift S doesn't even have any lighthouses. It's completely um, inside-out tracking on that one. Yeah. No. And there's no tether to the to the box. It's uh, it's uh, Wi-Fi. How much is this going to cost? Oh, some ridiculous amount. Probably over a thousand Canadian. <laughs> But the um, Valve are about to release their own headset. The um, Index is coming in May. HTC, yeah. <laughs> it's funny how my character's holding the joystick in front of him. But like one hand, just just, think it's you. on the button. It's just ready to go. Ready to fire. Just think, you, just think you can lose your VR headset now and you won't have any idea where it is. What? <laughs> 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 since they have the new headsets that are wireless you can like lose them and you won't have any idea where you put them where's my headset oh, oh no <laughs> right tent we've just arrived oh my hey. god i am oh my Hard god court. this planet is covered in like metal it's completely been like urbanized yeah. Now, how does that? How does it have an atmosphere then? Like, what? How does that work? There's no nature. I, there's no ecosystem. I don't know actually. It is. They've never explained it, but. Well, this looks crazy nice. though. That co she had published the ASCII character set in both hexadecimal and decimal. Wasn't that nice? Well, what's that? That's a plate falling out of the microwave. I was going to guess guillotine, but. Plate in the microwave is fine too. Well, I gotta say, like, like right off the bat, the multi crew is functional. Here we go. It works Holy a lot better when the servers themselves. Or we could play golf in VR. I prefer to play Whoa. golf. We're dead. We just went through the planet. Oh dear. What? What? What the hell happened there? I just died. Oh no. It quantumed me through the planet. Oh, what no. the hell was that about? You get this, you have to control the ship, but if you <laughs> If you get in the cockpit, spatula, you might be able to take control, I don't know. I'm dead. Oh right! I dropped That's through the ship, that, and that makes that makes two of us then. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, you guys gonna go back to Alaska? Well? Damn it! Oh no! Yeah, I'm still on black screen. Like, how, uh, do do you respawn? Like, you're you're gonna end up back at Alaska, spatula. No! Um, I'm gonna be in Art Corp again. Well, I'll just have to come visit you. Astronaut Dolphin. Sorry. Why God? Dolphin want to be going to space. They're putting a dolphin in space. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's on Adult Swim. Sorry. Oh, 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 oh! I know what you're talking about. Space dolphin investigator guy. I, I thought they were just getting ready for when that probe arrived. <laughs> Whales and dolphins all ready to talk to it and send it away. <laughs> Well, as soon as they know about space, they might be interested, but uh, I don't know. This is a real... I mean, uh, dolphins themselves, I mean, they're aliens regardless, so they'll... Uh... Well, they are, but they, they're sort of, you know, they've been here for millions of years, and then once they learn about space, well, then they're going to become curious, and... Let's say so long, might... thanks for all the fish. They might be asking our assistants to leave the, the surface of the planet so that they can experience... Uh, 
floating around in water in zero g, except that it's not entirely safe yet to have water in zero g, is it? I mean, that woman in the swimming pool in uh, what was it in uh, Homestead or whatever? That uh, sci-fi where they came out of uh, hibernation too quick, too early. The guy got lonely, and the and uh, he picks a girl from. One of the stasis oh, passengers. That was passengers. Yeah. Passengers. There you go. And she's swimming around, and the gravity fails because everything's going wrong on the yeah, spaceship. Yeah, she's just drowning in the ball of water. So it, the problem there was because there wasn't enough water. In. But if it's a dolphin, the tank will be full. Well, no, the dolphins still breathe air, so they're going to still. I mean, they can go underwater for quite a bit longer than a human, but they still eventually need air at some point. Okay, quick question. Uh, when you die, do you need to do anything to respawn if it's a black screen? or? No, no, you just wait. But I, I can press up and see my I've cursor. Just, I've just shut the game down because I think it's frozen. Yeah, I think I'm going to try... I'll just, just kill it and reboot. then start again. So when you're dead in Star Citizen, you're actually dead. Yeah, the, the account's terminated. You have to buy it all over again. Yep. Sucker, you spent 10 grand on a ship. Now you're dead. Yeah. You gotta pay yeah. for it again. Mm. I see. That's how they made the development money. All right. Well, I really yeah. want to check out this planet. So I'm gonna try again. There's a word for that. It's sucker. <laughs> yeah, we all got suckered. But, but uh, well, you, know, do, you know what? There I'm, is a good game at the end of this. I've only spent like fifty bucks on it so far for the you know the starter pack or whatever. Uh, that's a fair price for the, you know, even even yeah. in its current state, like just the experience of being able to walk around on a space station, to steal a gigantic ship, to walk around inside of a ship, like I'd pay fifty but bucks he, just to, you know. But even then, with that. fifty bucks, you know, you've got access for that game for life. Once it gets exactly. fully developed and is launched, yeah, you're in. Yeah. You know, I'm like, there's been some VR games that are so demo-ish that have you, half you look the at the way some. Does. Some games are going now, like, you know, when Anthem came out, it was like 80 bucks or something. It's like, this stuff's becoming ridiculous, some of the AAA yeah, stuff. Yeah, oh, I yeah. refused Anthem. Anthem killed Mass Effect. Anthem well, that's killed the beauty Mass Effect. Start. No, Mass Effect killed Mass Effect. <laughs> Mass Effect Red, Red Dead up. 2 was like, was like $60, $70 as well when it came out. Yeah. That's the beauty with Star Citizen, is they're going to just keep developing that property until they, you know... They've got movies with Squadron 42 coming, and they've got, you know, there's content above content. And so the investment that they put in a movie isn't like $100 million down, and it's like pass or fail. And if it, if it doesn't make the $150 million that they invest in the movie back, well, then it's an utter failure, and that's the end of the, the franchise. With Star Citizen, you can put that $150 million in, only make 120 back, and you've still got room to expand. Right. and recover recover your money, you know, which is what investors love to hear because then it does, you know, it's a little bit more of a sure thing than... Well, than, Star uh, Citizen has crowdfunded $223 million to press and they've burned yeah, but they have, they have over, of it. over $45 million of that is still private sector funding from Hollywood and, you know, Universal and whoever else is you know chipped and stepped up and you've got you've got you know all the a-line all the a-list actors and whatnot that are behind it as well and what's his name from wing commander is in there now he's dragged in john riz davies and a bunch of his friends in and mark hamill yeah mark uh, hamill's uh, in squadron 42 he's yeah. the main guy well if you remember the, yeah. the wing commander games mark hamill played the he, lead character exactly and uh, that's exactly because chris was 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 his personal be friend yeah, he wasn't that busy at the time in EA. Who was who's that made Wing Commander? Was it wasn't EA, was it? Uh, ooh, I don't know. But whoever it was, they paid him. You know, they paid him some coin, and he made some money, and you know, yay. But this is more than that. Wing Commander and, Four, uh, Malcolm McDowell, and and Mark Hamill, just like crazy cast, brilliant cutscenes, great story. Like, what a great space game! We should go back and play that. Um, Rebel Galaxy yeah. Outlaw, if you liked uh, Wing Commander, Rebel Galaxy Outlaw is going to be great. I'm looking forward to that one. Nowadays, Mark Hamill's got to split his time between Star Citizen and, uh, you know, Star Wars. <laughs> well, not anymore. Star Wars, Star Wars will be done now. I'm sure he's done filming. Well, really? I'm sure he's dead as well. The Rise of Skywalker. Star Wars is over, eh? Okay. 
Well, I mean, his role in Star Wars, this is going to be the last Star Wars movie with Luke Skywalker, and, you know, I'm sure he'll be a Force ghost or whatever, but after that, like, you know, they're they're trying to conclude the whole Skywalker storyline. That's the whole, the whole point of that uh, last movie, right? So why would they call the last movie Rise of Skywalker if they're trying to end the Skywalker line? Because there'll be a, there'll be a new Skywalker. It'll it'll be like, you know, friggin' uh, Ray is. Oh yeah, well, I, I was at a party last night. My friend was like, Ray is a clone grown from Luke's severed hand at the end of Empire. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> I love Something that. Something absolutely abysmally stupid. I love that, and I'm like, that would like, that would be amazing. People would rage. Not going off and grow another. But I'm like, that'd be funny if they tried to explain the damn hand. Yeah, we wanted to wrap up all loose ends, you know. Where did that hand go after it fell? Yeah. It wasn't in the trash compactor, it was in a vat of <laughs> something. So you can what? get a dump out of the bottom of the cloud city along with all the other debris that collects inside the, uh, the air yeah. filter. Yeah. So do you guys know... What I did, why am I not able to get my vehicle? It's this failed, failed to re retrieve vehicle. Oh, it's probably at a different freaking station destroyed. Mine did that once. Look, how many gas Wait, giants do you know what's of? What's over there? How many gas they giants? Have layer, they have a layer uh, of oxygen in their atmosphere. Uh, well, that's a good question. I don't know any personally. Right, well, oxygen, different server now. Can oxygen and methane kind of cancel each other out. Methane's the more likely gas, so... Uh, you would see, think you'd be... I got a party invite to change... Oh, my ship's already here, that's why. Alright. Yeah. I had some issues with the Avenger earlier. It was uh, at one of the stations where they tried to store it before I'd got back on board. But uh, I made it to the ship and went to power up and it wouldn't power up. And then I just, I don't know what happened. I, the game crashed and the screen then said it was it was stored somewhere else and it was destroyed. I was like, uh, things is not oh, right. Uh, here's another question for you guys. There was a female voice in, in that crowd that was here last night, and uh, I could not figure out exactly who, which voice it, uh, it was because everyone was talking over one another, as, as happens in 16... Oh, you're talking about last night in Gobby Banter? Yeah. Was was Yenitsa uh, around? I think she was like the cousin of um, someone that Scorb has had in, voice, in, in his episode. I'm not sure... The name of the person. It wasn't like no. one of Tur Turgeon's relatives or something. No, it was Turgeon just doing another voice. Yeah, basically. <laughs> generally, it is. There is a, a Turgeon generally puts on a female voice for. Yeah, I know. Yeah, sort of nowhere. Yeah. Turgeana, but um, there's uh, this. This was a little different than Turgeana. It sounded like there was another voice. Yeah, no, no, it was uh, someone that was over um, uh, with Scorb and, and Co. I mean, Turjana did put in an appearance, and it oh, sounded like Mr. Right. Yeah. <laughs> sounded like Mr. Potato might have been there too, but uh, I don't know. I love Mr. Potato. There's only one other person I know that kind of integrates with the Scorb group, and that's uh, I think she's called Aura or something. But she's she knows Yannitz, so she's dating Yannitz. Oh, okay. I thought you said Yannitz does the the alien voice, but she's not uh, an elite player herself. I don't know about that. I think we should have more women in the lead, myself. That's just my view. I agree. No, all the men will get distracted. It's, a, it's, it's like when the world of Warcraft and they come across a woman like, It's a girl! <laughs> Be old. And they're like, how old are you? Have you got a boyfriend? Do you, do you love me? Can we be partners? Can we date? Can we date? I love you. <laughs> well, that's why you just need to go and make a female hollow me, pick a female character name, and then you'll get all the boys wanting to be your wingmate. Yeah, until you open your mouth, <laughs> mouth and they go, no, mate, I'm, I'm, I'm a dude. Yeah, yeah, and then you get some voice chat. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's another guy. I never trust women in games anymore. No, that's why just for, character women. For like any like MMORTP or whatever that I've played, I'll always pick like a female character 
Just because, like, you, they tend to get, like, you tend to get the boys giving you stuff. Because they're more likely to actually think they you're just, a girl if you're playing a girl character. <laughs> they just drop stuff in front of you, literally. Oh, yeah. He's a, I love. <laughs> yeah, take all my money. Okay. <laughs> can I have your money as well? Yes, you can. Yay. All right, so I'm on my way to Arc Corp. We're going to check this out. I'm alive. So where do you land in Arc Corp? Is there like a main city or do you just land anywhere and everywhere's the city? Oh, you need aim for... Oh, God. Just keep it, you know, the the mapping system that you've got. Keep keep that mapped and head towards the marker. Oh, this pisses me off about Jupiter. I was in the solar system yet uh, last night again, and they, they haven't colored the great red spot red. Uh -oh. Not that they're necessary to use. But wait, wait, wait. So yeah. in what game? Elite. They don't. The great red spot on Jupiter, it's not red. Is it even uh, still there is the question. Because isn't that, that's a storm, right? And it's like. It's a storm and it might, yes, it might disappear. But it's it's uh, not sure. It's been there since 1600. So we've never known a Jupiter without a great red spot. Well, maybe it, but maybe late, it, uh, maybe it changed colors. It could have changed colors. It could have disappeared. Um, but it might come back. I mean, you could theoretically have two red storms as well. I mean, something is causing a red storm on Jupiter. I don't turns, know what it, it is. It turns out the whole time the other spot was there. There were two spots that, and it was just winking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and why doesn't Saturn have a spot? Maybe it gets a red spot too. I don't know. Saturn has a weird hexagonal pole. Yeah, we're still looking into that. We're not really sure why that. Aliens. That's yeah, it. Saturn's a strange one. Clearly aliens. Clearly. Because as we know in nature, you cannot have geometric shapes in nature. Unless, of course, we're talking about Fibonacci. But Geometry? As invented a, by a, aliens. A media triangle. <laughs> Being sarcastic, obviously. <laughs> they used to think that in the 60s, though, that you couldn't have like geometric shapes in nature. It's like, no, it's impossible! Like, but, well, there is always the honey... The honeycomb. Have you looked at the, Have you looked at the universe lately? Yeah, exactly. The honeycomb. Although those aren't necessarily perfect hexagons, but neither is one in Saturn. But yeah, well, I mean, nobody ever thought you'd photograph a. I mean, hexagonal shapes are pretty structurally sound. They should occur in nature. I think they're they're efficient. Yeah, but a tube is also stronger. Maybe. I don't know. Probably some weird magnetic, magnetic phenomenon. It's complicated, whatever it is. Yeah. I try not to think about it. Oh, bloody hell. Well, I was in the middle before I got joined this channel. I was trying to understand particle wave duality in the context of grand unification theory of Albert Einstein, but... I was having I trouble leave that kind of stuff to other people. What's that? I leave that kind of thing to other people. It's really quite fascinating when you put your mind to it, though. I have trouble balancing the bank half the time. I mean, trying to balance <laughs> an equation. Oh, well, they didn't balance anything. They just invented two states for for particle. That's what particle wave duality is. So light can exist as both particles. Oh, and duality as in two different things, right? Yeah, two different things at the same time based on perception. I mean, it's, that's just all fucked up. It doesn't make any sense. And uh, I never really agreed with it, but I didn't have a better theory. So is this basically the sort of the, the theory that two things exist at the same time but shouldn't? Yes. Right. It's, I mean, there's a lot of that going on in quantum mechanics. Like, you can have um, particle, antiparticle, um, um, mm. what, Einstein, what Einstein used to call spooky action at a distance in some of his, some of his, this is his Talking about entanglement? Entanglement, yeah. I mean, you could have things move, um, practically speaking, faster than light. Uh, which shouldn't be possible by entangling two particles that are like astronomically at uh, astronomical distance apart from one information another. is able to move faster than light that's right yeah and information shouldn't be able to move faster than light but it does <laughs> so 
I know one thing that moves faster than light. Oh, me when I'm hungry. Barry Allen. The Flash. <laughs> He's the fastest man alive. <laughs> That's why he goes back in time. And then... Actually, I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't watched... I haven't caught up on that show in a while. No, I gave up on oh, that. We need show. to stop talking about that then. Yeah, it got pretty cheesy. So, which season did you get to? I want to say it was the one where, like, Barry, Barry Allen was fighting evil Barry Allen. Ah, Salazar. Salazar, was that what it was called? Or that's, that's him, yeah. Savitar or something like that, yeah. Or was it Salazar? Oh, <coughs> man, Salazar's a completely different, yeah. Something Salazar. 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 Salazar is a pirate. Yeah, Whoops, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wrong one. But yeah, similar name though. See, I would have rather seen him fight a pirate. That would have been an interesting. He would have beat up the pirate though. Not if it's a very <laughs> fast pirate. Yes, uh, in the Flying Dutchman. And Wally would have got him. In which case, it would have been Salazar because Salazar was flying. It was sailing the flying Dutchman. I just my, my main problem with that show is I just can't get over the fact that he's basically dating his stepsister. And well, this happens in Game it's, of Thrones as well. Everyone's like, I know, it's you know, not, I mean, it's not they're technically they're proper brother and sister. That's true. Yeah, like Game of Thrones is like actual incest versus this being like, well, it's not really incest, but like it's all kind of technically incest. Well, I don't know. I mean, after after first cousin, your genetic your genetic uh, relatives are getting pretty. They're starting to get a little on the distant side, so there's no real risk, genetically speaking. But it's still wrong. Well, it depends what kind of relationship you have with them. So if you didn't know they existed beforehand, you can have a kind of you know small Flanders <sighs> scenario where there has been that, hasn't that? Whether brother and sister. Well, they've been stepbrother or stepsister. Well, I'm just thinking old boy well, right all, now. Small Flanders, it was actual brother and sister. Mm. <laughs> no. Y'all seen, then... seen old boy? Mm. <laughs> I have not. Oh, really? Oh. Probably shouldn't. Okay, then we shouldn't talk about it. But you should see it. Not the remake. The original. Anyway, you get a brother and sister pairing. It usually is like the first, the first generation isn't the risk. It's if you keep having... Children from a brother and sister coupling. Yeah, it's the, it's the, uh, the generations that come after this. Yeah. But that's generally why they outlawed it in the first place. Yeah, exactly. Kind of, a, kind of risky and. Uh, mm -hmm. Ew. Like, I don't know. We're all sort of socialized against it, but it's one of our little laws that we have as human beings. Yeah, the problem is now since Game of Thrones. <laughs> People have been slightly desensitized from it. Well, I don't know. I'm not going to start like. Well, here's here's know. the question: Is would would you date your cousin if it meant you get your own dragon? Hell yeah! I want a dragon. And and your cousin's I dump her after though. I have a really attractive cousin. I have a really attractive cousin. Does she own like... a dragon? No, but she's very attractive. Useless then. Useless. Uh. And it's very hard not to notice. But anyway, oh, what happened? Like, well, out of you're party. allowed to compliment the beauty of your family. Not like doing about it. Yeah, but we loved to party and do drugs together. It was like back in the good old days, and it was like <laughs> it was pretty crazy. What's that? What happened? I just dropped out of quantum. Oh, overheating. That's over a new eating? thing. Oh yeah. Sometimes it, it, it tells you it's run out of power, but then it powers up again. Just give it a couple of, but a half a minute there, cool it itself down, and then it'll spool up again. Yes! All right. Fuck off. Where do I check my fuel, by the way? Um, I think the hydrogen's on. It's got like a percentage. Your percentage. As for the quantum fuel, I can't figure that one out now. I still had. I used to know where it was on the Aurora, but I'm flying an Avenger now, so I'll show you. But they're in different spots on most of the ships, as far as I can tell. Are these moons of the solar system, like, is the Apatis actually look like this? 
Hope oh, there's another player running around. There's like mountains that are like seven miles tall and they have razor sharp pointy things. Uh, uh, is this a leap you're talking about again? Yeah. Hmm. And I'm landing on. I'm landing in a crevice. In a crevasse. <laughs> Ew, a crevasse. Giant, a giant crevasse. A very you sharp. Have some tea and biscuits in the crevasse. Tea and biscuits. Crumpets. Although, if you do it outside, the tea might freeze. Biscuits will float away. <laughs> <laughs> And there's an odd-looking, mysterious fog in the bottom of the crevasse as well. Oh, that's aliens. Definitely aliens. Which, um, which moon is this, by the way? Iapetus, it orbits Saturn, the outermost moon. That's the moon. Alright, I'm gonna say it, because you can't actually land on our moon. Uh, no, there's one of them. To Triton, I think, is the one that orbits Uranus. And uh, you yeah, oh yeah, pervert locked, isn't he? Didn't that used to be a different planet in the solar system that was pervert locked? They switched it. Maybe? No, Triton is Neptune. I'm sorry. Triton is Neptune. Sure. Yeah, yeah Neptune. and I don't know why. And I don't know why the hell they've locked it out. No oh. one can really answer that question. It's just locked out for some reason. Even F that doesn't. There's a Titan and there's a Triton though, isn't there? Titan mm -hmm. is Saturn's and Triton Titan. is. Neptune. Yeah, right, right. So I don't have. I have my route planned, but I can't seem to see a marker for it. Um, track and untrack. Uh, untrack and track. Oh, something just disbanded. I'm thinking you that this disc might be a sign of the, the game's about this to. This could be a disconnect for you. Because I'm, gonna, I'm <laughs> seeing somebody. <laughs> oh, I just love it. I just love it. Selling us. The the, uh, the uh, British call it uh, was it in is it Enceladus in English proper Queen's English, and then in the United States it's in, it can be called uh, Enceladus or Enchiladas I think I've heard it referred to as Enchiladas. I'm going down. There yeah. we go. If it was the original Latin, it's Enc because there's no soft C in Latin, but. Intelligent. See, I quite I find it quite a reason when they say the pretty sure the Windsor family is of German descent. Yes, I know. But... And even uh well Philip's not even German. Philip? He's Greek, I think, isn't he? Yes, he's a Greek prince. Yeah. So really Germany already invaded England. They also invaded Greece, but <laughs> they started with the royal family and worked their way down. <laughs> The only thing the Germans never conquered was Ireland, but nobody wants Ireland anyway. So. Well, the Irish want Ireland. <laughs> There's only two million people there. Half of them in Dublin. I think. I don't know. I'm of Irish descent, but I'm not up on the <laughs> demographics of Ireland. Uh, yeah, it looks like I'm back on a menu loading screen here. Hey! Um, I've got a crash on I think that, that's my... Oh, we get a little shit! Quick start it. <laughs> I really want to see this, like, crazy city, but if it doesn't work, I'll call the stream I'll, soon. I would, have, I would think you might have to give it a couple of days before you go there. I mean, a couple you... of days? Yeah, because, I mean, it's only been, like, yesterday when the, the update dropped, wasn't it? True, or true. Was it before? Yeah, and no, I, might, I might consider, uh, if I do get into Space Engineers this weekend, I might do a stream on that. Remember, Grey, okay. Te Grey Test was saying, I think he had it as well. I don't know if, do you guys have it? I've got it. Nuke's got it. Grey Test's got it. Yourself. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, so, yeah, quite a few people. If Probably a bunch of people want to play uh, Space Engineers, that'd be a fun one to pick up and just kind of yeah. muck about and... Yeah, I mean, Star Citizen, I tend to play that in, like, in the morning of my time because that's generally the quietest for everywhere. And I just want to do box missions just to... Oh, yeah, your cat's you playing up there as well. <laughs> Welcome to Star Citizen, the loading game. <laughs> it's true. Uh, but you know what, I'll um, say, like, you know, when you do get in and you do get to muck about in the game, it, it's definitely a great experience. Like... Yeah, Despite I mean, when it, once it's working even halfway, 
it's good fun. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, to me, it's just it's just the level of ambition in the game is very impressive. When you go down to <sighs> when I went down to Lorville the first time, and oh my god, just seeing that whole city fleshed out, like, like th- they care, they care about making something good. So well, I mean, it's a game. I'm making a game. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just a, a company making a game and then a publisher pushing them along. Yeah. It's interesting because I've been doing a lot. Like I did Kerbal Space Program um, when it was in early access. And that was one of my favorite early access experiences where every time the game got better, it sucked because you had to keep downloading mods over and over because they would all break. Oh, oh guy. <laughs> oh, hi. Um, newsflash about Star Citizen. What? Uh-huh. VR is coming 29th what? May. 2019. What? No, what? It, no, it what? what? Next month? In tandem no. with a with a helper application called Vorpex, they say it will. Yes. Oh yeah, is it's using part of the roadmap, though. Is it oh, also what that means? Planned. Vorpex is just a, a system that um, basically bends the visuals around any headset. It's not going to be a, it's not going to be real VR. It's just a it's just a workaround. Yeah, okay. Not completely true with Vorpex. I've seen different games that uh, they had control interfaces that, um, like for Fallout, that before it went full 3D, before it went full VR, um, it didn't just bend the light around. I mean, it was doing, it was doing, uh, it was able to take the three-dimensional graphics and actually map them into the, into the target device. So if you had an HTC Vive and then you saw a table in front of it, it was just bending the table around as if you had, you know, red and blue goggles on. It was it was actually, you know, positioning the table in some kind of coordinate system. But I don't know if this is API driven or what they're doing exactly. It won't be yet. No, no, because it's because it's it's so early in the alpha that they, they wouldn't release any any kind of API for that stuff yet. They they guard their IP like nobody's business to CIG so I can't I can't see that happening people might find a you know a way of working around it but it's not going to be you know a polished product by any sense you might get a feel for what it could be like but it's not going to be the the real deal hmm. Chris Roberts confirmed Star Citizen will have VR full support however yep at some point no doubt uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I I don't think the game really needs VR. I mean, I think it would be nice, but uh, go ahead. You know, I I just don't think it's like it's needed. Like, I think the game is fun the way that they're doing it. Oh, it needs sense. because I don't I don't play games anymore just on the uh, on the console. I can't. You can't go back. You can't go back. See, yeah. I, I like VR in tiny doses, and and you know, yeah, some some I'm games some games it works much better for than others. Um, Star Citizen, I feel like, I don't know, uh, going for long periods of time in spaceflight, having to do in VR, unless it was very easy to put on your headset and then transition between... Well, I mean, I'm not going to spend more than four hours playing a game at this age anyway. Like, it's just not in me. I just True. don't do, do that to begin with. In, in the, I don't have time, frankly. So why would I worry about, you know, having the VR headset on for 16 hours when I'm never, ever going to play a game for that long, even in console, even if it was just like... Sure. <laughs> well, my thing is, I know, if it's more than an hour, I, 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 I got to take the VR thing off. Everybody I know who has VR enjoys it in short, short bursts, to be honest. I, um, I have a friend who used to play, he used to play Elite exclusively in VR, but he kind and you can't do more than say an hour and a half without getting a, a headache. A lot of so. people do have headaches and they have uh, symptoms. I mean, the I've had <laughs> eyesight issues with the, that have happened as a result, but it doesn't change my gameplay experience. I just cannot, for the life of me, go back to a game that's two-dimensional once I've been in a three-dimensional environment with it. Mm. Yeah, it's a type of. It has to do with the type of the game. It has to do with the with the with the. Um, the ability, the interface is just much more human for me. And you know, than, the, than this is exactly scary. why. This is exactly why I still got a TV with a VCR built into it. <laughs> what? You have a TV with a VCR? Mm-hmm. You have a CRT. I've got one of them. <laughs> well, like, okay, so some people ask lately, like, "What is your TV?" And I'm like, "It has the yellow jack and the white jack, but not the red jack." <laughs> what? <laughs> but it does have a built-in VHS player. 
it's low jacked. Does it have Betamax though? Oh, yeah. or an yeah, you, You're probably not old enough for that. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Betamax, go. So, I, don't, I don't know. Did, so, so what's up? But do you, get, was are, you, are you guys still it was doing so your stream? so much better than VHS. Oh, stream's ended. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually end mine because Star Citizen's derped. So unfortunately, I don't get to see yeah, the city. Absolutely derped. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I'll yeah. do it next well, time. Free. Pretty bad state, to be honest. <laughs> that, that, arena, right that arena that Astacon's in is gigantic. It's enormous. My goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for joining. Christ. Christ.